Welcome back. In this demonstration, we are going to learn about tints. A tint is when you take white and add white to a color. So you'll notice this yellow, I've added a little bit of white to it and created this lighter color of yellow. Like right here, these lighter colors of blue, they are called tints. The pure hue is what we mixed in our last video. And in this video, we will mix a tint. When you add white to a color, it's called a tint. What is it called? Good. So to get started, you will need all the same supplies. You will need your easel brush, a paper towel to dry your brush on, one cup for your personal washing, one cup for your dirty water to share at your table, one cup of clean water to share at your table, and your palette with a palette paper on top. Now this is my palette from the last video. I've used warm yellow and warm red to mix my orange, cool red and warm blue to mix my violet, cool yellow and cool blue to mix my green. In this video, I'm just going to add a little bit of white to these sections of my palette to create my tints. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this warm yellow and mix it with the white. And right here you will see I will get what's called a tint. Now this tint looks a little bit lighter than my yellow and I'm just going to paint it in the section right here that says tint. You'll see in each little section I've written the word tint. So take that little area and paint the tint in. It should not be white, it should be a tint of your color. Okay, so here's my tint of warm yellow. Now, my brush is going to be dirty with my tint of warm yellow. I'm gonna wipe it off, rinse my brush out, and then move on to my next color. My next color is the red. I'm gonna take a little bit of my warm red here and mix it in with this white. And you'll notice I'll get a tint of red. The tint of red, most people will also know as pink. Okay, pink, kids always ask me, Mr. George, is pink on the color wheel? And I say, no, pink is not on the color wheel. Red is on the color wheel, but pink is a tint of red. So if one were to put pink on the color wheel, it would be right here next to red because it is the tint of red. Now, if I take my orange, and I notice I'm not gonna wash my brush off here. I'm just gonna grab some of this orange. I'm gonna add some white into it and a little bit of more yellow. And I will have what we call a tint of orange, which most people will recognize as peach color. Now the peach color you paint in here and you'll notice that peach color looks like a little bit of orange. Okay, so there's our tint of orange. Now that I've finished kind of my warm red orange spectrum, I'm going to wash my brush off very well. And again, one thing about white is it will uh, be very hard to wash off your brush. Uh, you might need to wash it off quite a few times in order to get a nice clean brush for the next colors. Okay, so rinse that brush very well. Make sure there's no more paint on it. All right, now we'll move on to the next section here. I'll take a little bit of white and put it next to my cool red, a little white next to my warm blue, and a little white next to my violet. Just a little teeny dollop. Now, if I take my cool red here and I add it to uh, my white, notice that I get another kind of pink. Now this pink is more of like a rosy pink. It's a cool red pink. It will look different, it should look different than the red the warm red pink. Okay, this is kind of a more flowery red. All right, so there's my pink, uh, my other pink 
for the cool red. Wash my brush out. And of course, I don't want to mix my tints together and contaminate my blue over here, so I'm going to rinse that really well. Get another one here. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of my warm blue and add it to the white, and you'll notice that I get a tint of blue. And I'm going to paint that right in this section. Again, it should cover over the word tint. That'll be a nice, almost sky blue color. Now I'm going to take my light blue that I've already got on here, and I'm going to just add it into the pile of purple that I have. And if you don't have the pile of purple already or the pile of orange, you can just simply mix it with what you've got. Now, once I've added this white in, you'll see that this tint is maybe more like what people were thinking purple or violet might look like. When we mix violet color, it's very, very dark like you saw in the other video. Whereas once you add a little white to it, it looks more like what people think of as purple. All right, I'm gonna wash my brush really, really well again. Dry it off, get some fresh water and be ready for my next tints. Okay, my next one is yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of the white to my cool yellow, a little white to my cool blue, and a little white to my green. All right. Now notice I'm just using little teeny bits of white there. This yellow is more strong than the other yellow, but you'll see that it does change, and this tint of yellow is very bright. All right, so there is my tint of cool yellow. Very bright, lemony looking yellow. All right, gonna wash my brush out really well. And the, again, if I don't wash this out very, very well, it will contaminate my blue and make my blue look so I want to be very careful. Okay, when you're mixing, you should be very careful not to mix up your colors before you intend to mix them. Okay, so here's a little bit of my cool blue. I'm going to add it into my white, and you'll notice that the cool blue turns almost a turquoisey color. It turns very uh, light, almost watery blue, rather than the other blue, the warm blue is kind of like a sky blue. This is, I like to think of as like a watery blue. It's kind of a turquoisey color. Okay, so here's my tint of cool blue. And now I'm going to kind of just wipe my brush off rather than ri rinsing it all out. I'm going to grab this white and add it into my green and get my tint of green. Again, if you don't have the green already there, just mix it with your yellow and your blue, which I will have to do for my next video. Okay, so here's the tint for my green. Like that. Okay, so that being finished, a tint is whenever you add white to a pure hue color. And when you're done, your color wheel should look something like this. You should have a light version of all your pure hue colors in the right place on the inside of your color wheel. When you're done, don't forget to wash your brush really well. 
and throw out your palette paper. At this point, there's not really enough room here for me to add more colors. So in my next video, I will use a new palette paper.